All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to broadcast live using Sound Broadcaster. This is assuming you've got Sound Broadcaster downloaded and installed. And the way we're going to be doing this is using a platform called radio.co, which is really straightforward and easy to use. You can manage your entire station from the cloud, and you can also invite live DJs to come and broadcast at the time you give them. And as you can see here, my show is due to begin in seven minutes' time. So we've got to get our skates on. The three bits of information I need are the host, the port, and the password. And I'm going to add an encoder into the encoder section of SAM. If you can't see this, you click Window and select Encoders, and this will uh, appear. We're going to add a new encoder. We're going to choose MP3 Lame, okay, and click OK. Now, 64K is a default. That's not going to sound great. We need to select at least 128K. 128K is generally considered to be equivalent to CD quality, so it's pretty crisp, clear audio. And then under the Server Details tab, we're going to select Shoutcast. We're going to choose version 1. And the three information, three bits of information, we're going to copy and paste these across quickly. The server IP, port, and password. So let's just grab these by clicking on them inside radio.co. They're automatically copied to my clipboard, and I can just then go and paste them in on SAM. So first of all, the IP or host, the port number, and finally we're going to uh, paste in the password here. Okay. So these three bits of information are what we need to actually connect to broadcast. They're unique to each DJ that you have on your station. Um, so make sure that the the information you're grabbing directly from radio.co. Once we've added those in, we can click on OK. That information will be then saved for future use, which is very handy. And now if I want to start this encoder off and start broadcasting, we'll just uh, start playing some tracks in SAM, as you can see here. And um, now we're ready to, to start broadcasting. Yeah, so click on a play button inside our encoders tab. As you can see, it says encoding, which is great. That means we're actually live. And if we head back to radio.co, you'll see that it says connection status, and this has gone green now, which means it's receiving the broadcast from our SAM broadcaster. Now, as our show hasn't started yet, as you can see, it's due to begin in five minutes. Listeners won't actually hear what we're saying or what we're playing in SAM right now. However, as soon as that hits zero, you'll be going live and you'll be on the radio for everyone to hear. All right, so let's say for whatever reason our broadcast goes down, perhaps our internet connection goes uh, stops working or the sound broadcaster crashes, something like this. If I just click stop or close sound broadcast, you'll see the same effect will happen. Um, it says no DJ connected, but our listeners will still be able to hear something because what will happen is radio.co will kick back in with whatever has been playlisted and listeners probably won't even know you're gone, to be honest. And then when you come back and connect again, you can jump back on and continue with your live show just where you left off. So it's built really well, a very, very um, intuitive system. And uh, if you've got any questions for us, you know, we're always happy to help internet broadcasters. This really is a platform built by broadcasters for broadcasters. Our email address is studio at radio.co. Happy broadcasting, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching this video.